perfection. You're arrogant. You're impolite. You're over self-confident. You're not being realistic. You're over ambitious. How many times were I supposed to have to listen to so many shameless, malicious affirmations, even from people who are just pretending to know me? How many times and from how many different peoples were I supposed to be at such spot by yet striking judgments? Ten, twenty, a hundred times, and how many more? But actually, the more comments of this kind I received, the better I felt, because it meant I'd been doing the better work on myself, building the stronger character I'd always wanted to develop. It all began at primary school, going through all the junior years of my secondary school. Due to my shyness and sensitivity, due to me being a model as a student, I was being targeted by both class and schoolmates, who played very sadic and violent jokes against me trying to get out of their boring daily tasks, escaping their frustrating lives. Then, one day I could never forget, my mom told me, You know, Tommy, I used to be as sensitive and as shy as you are, and that made me suffer a lot, due to the inherent malice common to many human beings. But then, I realized that I could start working on my character, developing it in the strongest possible way, in order to become totally indifferent to whatever the strangers would say, yet fighting back all the fake news and bad words of which I was the target. From that moment on, my whole life turned upside down. I started training so hard to build up a, a rock hard self-confidence, in order to be able to react to people who purposefully acted to harm me. I started pretending to be fully recognized and awarded for my merits. I started not to bear any more anyone to threaten me. I stopped letting others' prejudice, narrow-mindedness, bias and pessimism to put my self-esteem down. That was the very moment I stopped thinking, acting and behaving as the others expected me to do and started living my life at its fullest possible extent. That's when I decided to come out to both my parents and closest friends as bisexual not fearing at all about their reactions, and almost careless about their opinions. In one expression, that's when I decided to rebear, just for my own sake, and eventually, but just in second distance, for the happiness of the very few people who have ever really loved me.